welcome or welcome back to my channel for another bullet journal video and today I will be sharing with you guys my November plan with me and my theme is computer slash internet and polar bear. This theme is kind of random, I just always wanted to do an internet theme um, or a like browser tab theme. Uh, but I didn't want it to just have that as a theme. I wanted it to be a little bit more interesting. So what I decided to do was to add the polar bear element to it. Today I will be using a dingbat notebook um, for my setup and I have a code for you guys if you want to save 10% off any order from the dingbat notebook website. And you can get it in the description box down below. The code is OA10 and if you use it, you will help my channel out. So I hope you will use it. And I will also have all of the timestamps in the description box down below. So if you are searching for a particular spread, then you're not wasting your time. This setup is also fully made with Dutch doors, so I will also do a little Dutch door tutorials, so stay tuned for that if you are interested. Before we get any further in this video, let me tell you about my digital bullet journal shop, which is OS Planner Shop. You can get there any of my previous setups from July, all in digital forms as well as uncolored and undated planners. I already have my November spreads up on there, so if you want to be twinning with me and have the same spreads, you can get them there. And from the 24th up until the 2nd of November, I will be having a sale so you can grab them before the start of the month at a discounted price so don't forget to check out the link in the description box down below or head out to my shop to see all of my spreads and i will let you with the rest of the video so for my current page i just have the mini calendar in a little uh, computer uh, window and then I have a bigger one where I have the polar bear, which was a struggle to make. I really wasn't sure what my cover page would be, uh, but I decided on doing this big top, which is 30, oh, 13 by 16 squares. Um, and then I have a smaller one behind it, which is just for decoration and filling up the space um, and then at the bottom of that top I just have some snow coming out from it kind of so the polar bear is uh, sitting or standing on it and I just have uh, the outside portion and the header which is in purple. My color scheme for this month is purple and blue or light blue, which was what I used to do the snow-like effect. I also added two little files icon at the bottom just to fill out the space a little more. And for the snow-like effect, I used a blue crayon and then it is water soluble. So I just used a little bit of water on a a brush to kind of make it blend it with the page I guess and then with a blue tumble marker I did the title and all of my supplies will be listed in the description box down below as well my second spread which is the calendar spread and one of my most used spread as I use it to keep all of my events for the month and I will also explain really quickly how I made those Dutch doors so what I did is to mimic computer tabs each um, spread I forgot the word for a second has its own tab. I used three different uh, washi tapes to do the different tabs just to uh, 
uh, make it a little different and they are all kind of marble style they come from the same set but i don't know where i got it and i have a light blue a purple and a slightly more darker blue which you will see uh, in the next page and all of the tabs are uh, four squares wide and i used the header uh, for those specific journals, the dots don't go all the way to the edge of the page, so I used that section to make the tabs, and I basically just draw out the shape of the tab on each page, and the part that is not part of the spread has been cut off, so hopefully that made sense, and then I just wrapped around some washi tape and then cut it to the shape. And that's basically it for how I made the tabs. Right now, I am making the polar bear, which is on the side, and it has a little baby in between uh, the front paws. I found all of my polar bears silhouettes or uh, positions on Pinterest. That was just the easiest to find. And I'm currently outlining the calendar. I did first with my tumble marker the purple outline. I think it is the 623 uh, for the color that I used, but I did the outline first and then I used the black to uh, make it uh, more clear just because it was a lot easier to do it this way and I didn't smudge the ink with the tumble marker because sometimes with the uh, black pen that I use, which is the micro eye pens I think. Uh, they sometimes bleed a little bit so I wanted to do it in that order. For the color it is 20 by 34 squares uh, which is pretty much the whole page um, uh, lengthwise. I just have two squares at the bottom. Uh, the outer um, outline which is in purple is one square wide. And I basically just have outlined it at the top. I have one square that is for the little tabs as a computer browser, which I will have the days are written in. And then on top of that, I have two squares and some of it is used for the snow on top. And I just wanted to have this pop of snow here and there throughout the setup just to keep it in the wintery file. Um, we usually don't have snow where I live in November, but I am really wanting snow and in the mood for winter. So that's why I did that. I also added the title at the top just with a black fine um, brush. And I used a lighter shade of purple to do the tabs at the top for the days just to have a little bit of contrast and I also have a goals section on top of the polar bear uh, which is seven by eight and a half squares with a half a square border around and one at the top for the title and the note section is 12 by 6 squares with one square at the top for the header and one in, uh, and a half for the border around and another little polar bear which didn't turn out that great. And I am wrangling too much because it is already time for the habits tracker. For this habit tracker, I went with individual calendars and each one has its own um, kind of tab and they are 9 by 8 and I have 8 of them and I just have one uh, square tall header which are all in purple and then underneath it I have one square uh, empty and then I have underneath it the calendar which is the mini calendar for every day of the month to track eight of the habits and then I have one square left at the bottom um, so that's for each one of those boxes at the bottom I had some space left 
Uh, they are scattered around completely randomly just where I had space to make it kind of random which was my first time doing anything random and it was definitely a bit harder for me as a kind of perfectionist but I had space at the bottom to add a little polar bear uh, it is kind of the same that I did on the previous one except that its head, its head is on the other side and there's no baby and I added a kind of line at the bottom to make the ground. At the top, I have habits tracker written. The habits part has a snowy lettering, which I did in January 2021, which I loved. And it's basically just bubble lettering with snow on top and it looks super cool and super fun. So that's what I did. Um, that's just basically it for this spread. really fun it is supposed to be polar bear paws and i have one for each day sorry something fell in the house hopefully you didn't hear that uh so i started with making the little uh dutch door tab which was the last color of washi tape and then i added the title box which is 11 by 7 squares and then I have another one right behind it and uh, here you can see from up close the little uh, polar bear paws if you know anything about bear paws and they don't look like that I am really sorry I just typed uh, polar bear paws on Pinterest and that's what came up so that's what I did I basically have the little inner part and then five little i don't even know how you call that but you have five more and then you have the little um nails uh so yeah that's just what i found um which is pretty fun it was pretty time consuming to make because there are so many parts to make one but i am pretty happy with that and i was able to fit them all so i am pretty happy about that thing I did is to make the key uh, for this uh, wind tracker and I just have this wintry uh, bubble letter with snow on it uh, and then I added some little squares to add the different moods that I will be tracking. I really love moods tracker because I am someone who struggles with uh, depression so it sometimes helps to see how my mood was doing and if some acts of self-care have been helping and like exactly how i am doing then i just added the tracker name at the top in the title box and that is basically it i just had to add the numbers in each ball also the way i will be using it is just by coloring in each paw and if you want to see that, you can check out my TikTok, which is linked in the description box down below because I fill out my bullet journal every day on camera. Next, we are moving on to the sleep tracker. And I do want to mention that I skipped over two pages, which are my medication and migraine tracker, as well as my symptoms tracker. I have them every single month, but I usually don't change the layout. It is always the same, so I usually don't share it, but it will be posted on my Instagram. So if you want to go follow me on there, you will probably see them uh, sometimes in the month. Um, but for this sleep tracker, the box is pretty much the entire page from the bottom 
uh, leaving five at the top and uh, it is the whole width of the page. I have a one square border at the bottom, uh, a half square on the side, and um, no border on the left side. And then at the top, I just have a one square border for the purple thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how to talk right now, but I left one and a half uh, from where the days end to add the hours. So the way a sleep tracker works, uh, you have the hours of the day and then you just fill out from where to where you slept for each day. And then I have an energy tracker at the end, which is four squares wide and i have a little pearl bear at the top and files for the sleep tracker title moving on to the water tracker it is pretty simple i just have one box which is uh, 27 by 33 squares so it is uh, one square away from the border of the page and i just have that square used for the width of the behind of it part and I just have the second tab behind it for the key and I just have a one and a half border on each side for the main box and one square call on the top and the bottom and I did the same thing I just have the one uh, blank section which is just like the top in a computer uh, window and that will be for the increments of water a water tracker is a great way to reach your water goals and I usually use a key to color code it and have it be easier to see and I have the key portion in the little tabs in the next computer hopefully that makes a lot more sense than how I'm trying to explain it uh, because you have the um, the video with it um, but yeah that's how I did it and it is three squares tall for the key part so yeah hopefully that made sense uh, I just added the days of the week on the side and that's pretty much it for the water tracker we are now on to our second to last spread which is my reading tracker I always have a reading tracker because I am trying to read more. It is my goal for this entire 2022 year. I am not really good at it, but a reading tracker really helps to keep me focused on my goal. And I did something completely different that I've never done before for a reading tracker. I usually have it exactly the same as my sleep and water tracker especially my water tracker but this time I decided to make an individual little folder and in the little upper part I have the I will have the date and I will just have it colored and I have the space to write the numbers of pages read in the main part of the folder and at the bottom I had the space for a um, key part and that's basically it for this spread. The uh, little uh, folders are three and a half by two and a half squares and I have one square by two for the little upper part of the file. Uh, but that's basically it for this one. spread which is my highs and lows and this one is one of my favorites because it is uh, a great way to practice gratitude and seeing the positive without getting into negative positivity um, so I have two little computer tabs for this uh, as the um, main title for each column the page is separate down the middle and then on one side I have the, the 
the space for the high and then the space for the low and I have one line for each day down the um, on the left side I just have the days of the week uh, well days of the month and then that's just how I have it and I fill out every single night at the top I have four squares which I use to hand draw the title uh, with the same bubble um, with snow on top and lettering which was pretty hard to do because it didn't have a lot of space at the top so it is a little cram and I just added a little ball, uh, paw, bear paw uh, to uh, just make it a little bit more special because I didn't have a lot of space to add another uh, doodle or drawing and since I didn't have a polar bear on the past tracker I decided to just add that here and then the very next thing that you will see is the flip through of all of the pages so it is pretty much the end of this video i hope you enjoyed if you want to see more definitely subscribe for more the next video you will see on bullet tunneling will be my weekly spreads which i am so excited to share with you guys it will be up next week so don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss that and i will see you guys in the next one bye